in today's video we want to talk about footnotes. So we have some elements in a footnote. For example, we have a footnote anchor, this red one. We have a footnote character, the green one. The footnote uh, paragraph here, the style for the text. And we have this uh, aria above or below uh, this line from the footnote. Let's talk about each one in this video. Let's talk first about footnote anchor. We have here a document. We want to insert here a footnote. And we have this, the footnote anchor. And in a short time we will um, personalize and change the look of it. So let's see. Let's go here in uh, styles and we go to character styles and we choose footnote anchor. From here we modify and we have some elements that we can change. For example, let's increase the font. Let's change the color to be red. Um, and that's it. Let's apply. We can see here. Let's decrease the font size because uh, it made the distance between lines to increase. Okay. So very easy. We personalize our footnote anchor. Now we want to change this number here, the footnote characters. So very easy from here. Let's modify the footnote characters. Uh, the same thing, but we want green now. Let's apply. So we have that. Let's change the position to be superscript. And now we have a smaller number here. Now let's change um, the distance between text. Okay, so this area here uh, above or below the line from the separator of the um, footnote. So let's go to page style. Uh, we are in default page style. So we choose the font we are in at the moment. We click modify and we have we have here this tab footnote. We can keep the default one or we can personalize. But first let's uh, uh, have more text here in order to see what is happening if we are changing the height of the footnote. So we are having a big footnote. Let's uh, do the same again. So let's modify the style of the page we are in. So here let's decrease to 1.5. We can see some rows moved on the next page. If we increase, they are moving back to our page. All the footnote is here because it's enough space. Now let's see the space to text. So it's this text here between that line and the text. Let's increase to 0, 0.7 um, because I have a maximum footnote of only 1.8. It's not enough space. Now it's a lot of space. Let's increase to 1. You can see we have one centimeter here between this line and the text. Let's do the same uh, thing uh, in the bottom here between this line and the footnote. Let's have one centimeter. Okay, you see uh, below here we have one and above we have one centimeter. Now let's personalize the line. So let's have a green line. And we want to change size of percentage from the left to right. Instead of 25, let's have 75. So you can see here, let's have 100%. It's from the left to right. We can change the thickness. And of course, we can change the style of the line. Let's decrease again. And let's keep it like that. Let's uh, remove the space. It's too much at the moment. It's much better like that. 
So it's very easy to personalize uh, these values here. Now, um, if I change something, um, things are moving. So if I'm changing here to five, uh, three centimeters, you can see um, the text is moving to the next page. So we can establish what we want, what is the height of the paragraph. Now let's talk about paragraph itself. We can go here and we have footnote a style. And we have many, many elements here to change. For example, this space here, let's uh, remove, let's uh, decrease. And the same here to zero, three. Let's close them together. Zero, two and zero, two from here. And now it's much better. We can change, for example, uh, the distance between lines here. Okay. Um, we can justify the text. So now it's on the left. Now it's justified. We can change the font to bold. We can decrease to nine. We can change the color. I don't, I don't remember the color. Let's see what we need to have. Um, orange. So let's choose orange. Okay. So we have seen all the elements. So the footnote anchor, we have seen how to change the footnote character. We have seen how to change uh, the space above the line, below the line. And also we have seen how to change the paragraph color, font and so on. Let's play a little bit with more footnotes. Let's see what is happening if we are inserting more footnotes and we are changing the properties for this area. Let's insert footnote three and footnote four. Let's see, let's insert here. Okay, now let's see what we have in this document. We have three pages, two pages with text and three pages with footnotes. And the reason is we have two small limits for footnotes. So we have to increase that in order for footnotes to have enough space for uh, to work. Let's remove some text because the footnote is on page two. Okay, so now we have a footnote one here and footnote two and three that are on page one uh, don't have space enough and move to page two. So it's clear that we need more space for uh, footnote height. Let's have five. So now we have one and two on first page and they also, the footnotes also are on page one. If we check the default, it's not changing. It's uh, as, um, it's automatic. So three and four are on page two and also uh, three and four are on page two. This is automatic. But if we need some limits, for example, I want to limit to five, no matter how many footnotes I have, we can do that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.